It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love and support each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. That is a quote by Asada Shakur, and it's often chanted at protest. Welcome to Hashtag Why I Lit Chat. I'm Sahara with the St. Louis Public Library. And in this chat, we typically talk about fiction and nonfiction young adult novels, as well as juvenile fiction titles for tweens. So make sure you tune in each week to hear about your latest new favorites. And if you're back, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now let's get into it. So for today's book, we have Lifting As We Climb. It is a juvenile nonfiction written by Yvette Dion and published by Viking Publishing, which is a part of Penguin Random House. This is a great collection where you get to see Black women's battle for the ballot box, which is kind of a tongue twister. But it is important to know as we are approaching election day, we see that there are sometimes trouble at the polling place. And where does that stem from? So in this book, it covers the woman suffrage movement that left out black women. And so black women had to fight for their right to vote. So you get to see Ida B. Wells Barnett and Mary McLeod Bethune give their voices as well as some other women who you might not have known about before. So I definitely think it's important, especially in today's climate, just to know a little bit more history. <laughs> and it's a great read that is also available in ebook format on Overdrive. The more you know. So in today's segment, I want to talk about voting obstacles. That's something that you can see in Lifting As We Climb. And even though teens can't necessarily vote, you can express your opinion, right? So there have been a lot of voting obstacles for people of color and African Americans throughout history. So once African Americans gained the actual right to vote, they would try to go to the polls and they would be faced with things like literacy tests or they would have to stand with uh, one finger on their nose and then on one foot for a certain amount of time or they would have to wait in long lines that would make them late getting back to work or they would be threatened to be fired uh, for even expressing their right to vote. And then you see this translate for African American women which the book talks about where African American women who were uneducated and mothers they were expected to stay at home and they would fight for things like these segregation or to get their kids into a white school but they weren't allowed to go to the ballot which was really unfortunate so educated african-american women kind of stepped in and uh, tried to lessen those obstacles for them right and then we see voting obstacles today at the polls but i will talk about that next time this has been a short segment of the more you know Thank you so much for tuning in today. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Also comment down below, how do you feel about this upcoming election? Hmm? Head on over to SOPL.org so you can see the voting resources that we do have available. And we have some other great books in our catalog just like this one that you can check out. So I would like to thank Yvette Dion and Viking Publishing for this amazing nonfiction collection that gives voice to the voting movement. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'll see you next Friday at noon. Peace.